Leading-edge microtechnology is now widely used in the medical field, and Japanese engineering is making a unique contribution. For example, this is the needle of a hypodermic syringe. Ultra-thin needles like this, just 0.2 millimeters wide, are used by diabetics to inject themselves with insulin. Only one place in the world makes such thin needles, this small Japanese factory. Needles are normally made by stretching pipe, but the inner surface becomes rough when stretched too thin. This means the drug doesn't flow smoothly and is less effective. The factory discovered how to make even thinner needles by rolling sheets of polished aluminium. Liquid flows easily through their smooth interior. Five times narrower than normal needles, these are the thinnest in the world. Thinner needles are much less painful, making life easier for diabetics who inject themselves several times a day. This ultra-compact light bulb is less than five millimeters across. It's used in instruments for examining eyes. Similar tiny bulbs are used in endoscopes and other medical instruments, and they are entirely made by hand by highly skilled craftsmen. It took many years to develop the techniques needed to insert filaments as small as 0.1 millimeter and to blow these miniature glass bulbs to precise dimensions. To ensure the most accurate diagnosis, Glass bulbs should distort the light as little as possible. Compared to machine-made bulbs, bulbs made by hand produce almost no distortion. These high-quality, ultra-compact, handmade light bulbs are now in demand worldwide. Reconstructive surgery requires micro-level precision. Medical microscopes used to have a maximum magnification of 20 times. A new development has increased that dramatically, allowing 50 times magnification. The new microscope technology was developed by an astronomical telescope manufacturer. Multiple prisms greatly boost magnification while keeping the instrument compact. This model of a blood vessel is just 0.5 millimeters wide. It used to be impossible to perform operations on such narrow vessels. As microscopes have become more powerful, surgical instruments have become smaller. This 0.01 millimeter thread is carried by a 0.03 millimeter needle tips of these pincers are only 0.05 millimeters across. Using a combination of these new Japanese micro technologies, surgeons can successfully reconstruct fingers, arms and other body parts. Miniaturization of technology has now reached the level of single cells. This ant is four millimeters long. That tiny dot in front of it is a miniature component. It's part of a tiny robot that can be inserted into the human body. The entire robot is only one millionth of a millimeter long. The robot is remotely operated using light. It has been used for cellular examinations and to cut through red blood cells. This allows us to understand cellular function better and helps us determine which drugs will kill only cancer cells. That's the kind of medical application we are finding for this new technology. Japanese leading edge microtechnology and micro machines are driving a revolution in medical treatment.